Well, I'm in some good company this morning. Later this month, dozens of Canada's greatest athletes will gather in Calgary, all of them honored members of Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. Canada's Greatest Sport Heroes Golf Tournament features Olympic gold medalists, trailblazers, and pioneers in sport. We're excited to have two of those gold medalists with us this morning. Roger Jackson and Karen Lee Gartner join us, along with Mario Siciliano, the president and CEO of Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. We have some other special guests here, which we will get to in just a second. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, Mario, I'm going to start with you. Um, what exactly is this event? It's uh, Golf with Canada's Greatest Sport Heroes. So we bring honored members from all over North America together for this national event. So first time we're having it in Calgary. And uh, essentially it's an opportunity for Calgarians to golf with literally Canada's greatest sport heroes. And all the funds raised go to support our education programs uh, and access for underprivileged kids at Canada Sports Hall of Fame at Canada Olympic Park in Calgary. How important, Roger, is it um, to sort of spread the message of sport, especially to those at a young age? You know, the older I get and the farther away I get from my own international career, I realize how absolutely important it is for youngsters to have the opportunity to play and to be involved in sport and involved in many sports when they're young, just to keep them physically active, keep them out of trouble, keep them healthy. Uh, great attitudes. Uh, it's it's really a priority of mine, my interest right now. And for you, well, for all of you, you have you know maybe a chance or a couple of chances every year to get together with these honored members. What's it like? I mean, do you? Are you in awe of any of the other honor members who have had such incredible <laughs> careers like yourself? Yeah, no, yes, entirely in awe. And I think all of us as athletes, you're in your little bubble and you're so focused and you're working hard. And I would never have dreamed about the Canada Sport Hall of Fame, yet mm -hmm. I did dream about Olympic gold. And it, is, it becomes a family and we get together and you learn and realize that there's so many similar traits. Um, every single one of us, whether you're a rower or a skier, there's very similar paths that we've taken and risks that we had to take and things we had to overcome to succeed. And there's a reason that so many, I think, elite athletes are sought after to speak to the public and speak to corporations because the message is the same about perseverance, right? Well, it is. And uh, Canada Sports Hall of Fame is the place, the clubhouse, yeah. as Karen was saying. Mm -hmm. It's the place that brings us all together and all the artifacts all of the historic moments uh, captured and a few years ago it didn't exist now it exists in calgary and uh, that's why we're so thrilled about helping with the hall of fame and with the with the golf tournament it is a wonderful place if you haven't been you must go um, now you brought in some of the artifacts and there's a lot more to see but this, I don't even want to touch it. This is, this is one of my favorites. Mario, tell us about this hockey yes, stick. Yes, for sure. This is actually the uh, Wayne Gretzky's first hockey stick. I'll ask you not to touch it. Oh, I won't sorry. touch it. <laughs> uh, this is from 1978 when uh, Wayne Gretzky was drafted to the Indianapolis Racers in the WHA. Uh, he was only 17 years old. Uh, what makes it infamous, because uh, it's a very rare stick, is his name is actually spelt wrong. It's uh, right here, so it's spelt with an S. And instead of uh, the Z, and uh, it's a wonderful artifact for a lot of reasons, certainly a very rare artifact, but also a really neat one to use to teach kids about such humble beginnings, uh, right? right? Uh, all of the honored members had to work very hard for what they've achieved, and so it's a wonderful tool to say, imagine Wayne on his first day, his first game, and they didn't even get his name right, but <laughs> didn't matter. He wasn't matter. always the great he one. He wasn't always the great one. He had to work for that. So that's a very, very rare stick we're, we're pleased to have with us today. Okay, Marianne. And and this is the uh, 2014 Sochi torch and uh, this uh, actually ran a leg in Greece so it's uh, a very special torch and it's got a couple of design elements the ridges on it that you can see are represent the Phoenix bird which in Russian folklore stands for happiness and prosperity and of course uh, the Russian red which is uh, obviously very common in sports so it's lovely to have this uh, we have an entire Sochi Olympic exhibit at Canada Sports Hall of Fame up now for the public to see including the torch it is such a beautiful place. Um, one final question for you, Karen. Is it going to get competitive at <laughs> this golf tournament? <laughs> I try and keep my competitiveness when I'm by myself on the golf course. I'm an avid golfer. And these events, they're fun and they're supportive. And I think the big key um, for this particular one, it's for the education program. And when anyone walks through the hall, it is about inspiration, not just for sport. It is about achieving excellence and striving for your dreams. And and it's teaching kids, dream big. It can happen. It can happen to any of you. And, uh, and I think that education program is key. 
A fantastic event. Uh, a, about 30 honored members mm -hmm. will be descending on our city. Michelle Cameron Coulter will be here. Katrina LeMay Doan, uh, Marnie McBean, Ken Reed, Kyle Schufeld. The list goes on. Uh, it starts with a dinner at Canada Olympic Park at the hall itself mm -hmm. on June 25th and then the tournament at the Hamptons Golf Club on June 26th. We'll make sure we put links uh, up at breakfasttelevision.ca and again visit the hall, visit the hall, and visit the hall. <laughs> really nice to have you in studio and Mario thank you for bringing these thank you, incredible artifacts.